All right. So guys, today's assignment is about wave speed, frequency, and wavelength, and calculations. So if we had the notes open, it's useful because it helps us look at the waves and the anatomy of a wave, which will help us answer certain questions. Also here I put on uh, the equations that you're going to need. You may not know what the heck they stand for. Capital T is period. Period of something. This is the time it takes to complete one full cycle, one vibration, one oscillation, whatever. Frequency is the number of cycles per second. So how many oscillations per second? How many vibrations per second? And how they're related to each other. If you know what frequency is and you're looking for T, you do one divided by the frequency and you can get that answer. And the unit for that, guys will be seconds. I didn't write that on, on yours, so I apologize. Unit is seconds. And the unit for frequency, it's in the notes as well. It is hertz. Velocity is meters per second, wavelength, and frequency. So V, this symbol, lambda, and frequency. Now here it says, oh, these are the units. The wavelength unit is meters, but uh, it, I don't know why it has lambda there, but yeah, it, it will be meters for us. So we need it to be in meters and frequency in hertz in order to get our units all to match out and get meters per second. So we're gonna show all of our work. Okay, cool. So the first thing, that we're going to do now follow along with me guys all right we got a fisherman he noticed that a float makes 30 oscillations in 15 seconds so the oscillation would be like bobs up and down makes 30 of those in 15 seconds the distance between two consecutive crests is two meters they want to know what is the period and frequency of the wave and then the wave speed so by looking at this right so a wavelength of a wave can be found from crest to crest all right, in the graph that we're going to look at below, it can be from the start of a wave until, all right, it makes one complete cycle, and then it would start over, right? So from this distance here to there is also a wavelength. So what do we have given? All right, we see that we have 30 oscillations in 15 seconds. So underneath this, frequency is equal to number of cycles per second and how many cycles do we do we do 30 oscillations in how many seconds 15 so divide out and you're going to wind up getting an answer of two hertz excellent well they also wanted you to figure out what the period is well period is the inverse of that if we know what f is two hertz, you're gonna do one divided by that value. All right, so you're gonna do one divided by two, and that is going to equal what? Oh, I had two equal signs. 0 0.5 seconds. Cool. And now they wanna know what the wave speed is. Okay, well, this is the, the equation, right? Here's our triangle. I'm gonna just copy this whole thing real quick. Highlight it, control C to copy. Underneath, control V to paste it. Okay. So we want velocity. We need wavelength and frequency. Well, the distance between two consecutive crests is two meters. That's great because that is our uh, wavelength. Now, if I want to use the wavelength symbol, I'm just going to highlight it. Control C, Control V. So the wavelength here is going to equal oh, two meters. So I have everything I need. I have frequency, I have wavelength to solve for the velocity. So I'm literally just going to do two times two, and that is going to give me an answer of four, and the unit is meters per second. And then I want you guys to highlight 
your answers to the questions. Put them in red and bold them. If you're doing it on a piece of paper, you're going to box your answers to each of the questions asked in the problem. Okay, so there is number one. There is number one. The next one, number two, what is the wave speed? If this wave has a period of four seconds and a wavelength of 1.8 meters. All right. So what do they give us? They give us period, which is capital T. That is equal to four seconds. They give us wavelength, which is 1.8 meters. Again, this is the symbol for wavelength up here, this little lambda. So I'm going to hit control C on that guy, control V, boom. So lambda equals 1.8 meters. Cool. What did they want? They wanted V. They wanted the wave speed. Here's the equation for wave speed. So I need wavelength and frequency. Do I have both of those? I don't, but I have wavelength. And I have period. Now with period, if I know T, I can calculate for F by doing 1 divided by T. So I'm going to do that over here. So F will equal 1 over the period. And so I'm going to do 1 divided by 4 seconds. I hate when it does that. 1 divided by 4, space, backspace it. So it's not 1, 4. Okay. 0 0.25. And what is the unit? It is hertz. Okay, so now I have wavelength and I have my frequency here of this 0 0.25 hertz. So I can now solve for the velocity. Wavelength is 1.8 and I'm going to multiply that out by this 0.25. And that is going to give me an answer of 0 0.45 meters per second. So I'm going to, again, highlight in red and bold my answers to the things that they asked me for. Well, really, technically, they only asked me for, I guess, wave speed, but I accidentally highlighted that guy. Whatever. Okay, what is the frequency of a wave that is traveling at a speed of this and a wavelength of 0 0.5 meters? Okay, what do they want? Frequency. Okay, so we have two equations up here. Frequency can be 1 over the period, but we, we're not given period, so we obviously can't use that equation. And then using this equation here, well... Velocity or speed and wavelength and frequency, they're all related. We have speed and we have wavelength. So if you go up here to the triangle, this is where V would be, this is where F would be, and this is wavelength. So we're looking for F, covering that up in the triangle. You're going to have V divided by wavelength. Whoops. I don't want the whole thing, so I just want to highlight the wavelength symbol and paste it. Okay, so we have everybody that we need. We have velocity and we have wavelength. Just make sure that they go in the right positions here. Um, so I'm going to have 1.6 divided by 0 0.5. And you're going to get an answer of... 3.2, what is the unit for frequency? The hertz. Remember, guys, you need to show your work, so you have to just, you have you need all this stuff. I want to see all of that. Don't be lazy. 
All right, if you just give me the answer of 3.2, you're not going to get full credit. Number four. Okay, what is the wavelength of a wave that has a speed of this and a period of this? So they want to know what wavelength is. So I'm going to highlight that guy again. Wavelength is our question mark. What is the equation for wavelength? Well, I go up here. If I cover wavelength up in the triangle, it's V divided by F. So wavelength equals V divided by F. Okay. Do I have velocity? Yes, I do. V is equal to 3 meters per second. Do I have frequency? I don't. I have period. Whoop. And period is what? Six seconds. Okay. Well, I can't use this triangle. I can't use the equation right now because I'm missing F. I'm missing wavelength, so we can't use the triangle in this case. So I look over here. F is equal to 1 divided by the period. So I'm going to find F real quick. 1 divided by T. And I'm going to do so that would equal 1 divided by 6. I hate when it does that. 1 divided by 6. Backspace. Okay. So 1 divided by 6 is going to be 0 0.16 repeating, but I'm just going to cut it here at two decimals. And the unit would be hertz. So now I have the pieces of information needed. I have frequency of 0 0.16, and I have velocity. So to calculate for wavelength, um, I will do, right, V is 3. And frequency is 0 0.16. Now, if you do this in your calculator, let's see what we get. 3 divided by 0 0.16, you get 18.75. Unit, crap, I don't know what the unit is. Let me go up here. The unit for speed is meters per second. The unit for frequency is hertz. The unit for wavelength is lambda? No, that's a mistake. It's meters. And if you weren't sure, like, hey, look in some of the problems above. Wavelength is measured in meters. Wavelength measured in meters. So our answer here will be in meters. Now, if you guys didn't round this and you had like 0 0.1, because it's 0 0.1666666666, if you did three divided by like that long unrounded thing, your answer would come out to be like 18 pretty much or 18.000, whatever. Because I told you to cut it here to two decimals, that's going to be what your answer is. That's great. All right. If you wound up getting or using the completely unrounded version of this and you had like the six, 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 got an answer of 18. Don't freak out. Yes, that is also correct. Number five, a fisherman notices that a wave strikes a boat's side every five seconds. And the distance between these consecutive crests is 1.5 meters. They want to know what is the period of the frequency of the wave, what is the wave's speed. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's see. What the hell do they even give us? Well, a fisherman noticed that a wave strikes the boat every five seconds. So, like, let's say one crest hits the boat, every five, the next five seconds, another one hits. So, that's one complete wavelength, right? So, one full thing happens every five seconds. So, that is going to be our period. So, capital T is going to equal this five-second mark. Cool, that was one of the answers. So, I'm just going to boot, boot, right? They want a period. They want frequency. Okay. Um, well, frequency is equal to 1 over the period. So I'm going to do 1 divided by this 5, and that is going to give me 
0 0.2 hertz. That is an answer. Cool. And then what do they want? They want wave speed. Wave speed is velocity, which is wavelength times frequency. So I'm going to hit Control C to copy that equation and bring it down here. Right? V is equal to question mark. That is the equation. We have frequency. We need wavelength. Well, the distance between two consecutive crests is 1.5 meters. All right. So in our characteristics of these waves, right, a wavelength can be the distance between any two repeating points, a crest to crest, a trough to trough, or if we were looking at it from this point here to there, that could also be a wavelength. But they're giving us, hey, from one crest to the next is 1.5 meters. So that, guys, is our wavelength. So I'm just going to maybe put this over here and some of the information that we already have. Uh, 1.5 meters. So we have frequency. We have wavelength. We can answer this question. Wavelength is going to be 1.5. And we're going to multiply that by our frequency here of 0.2. Or, no, wait, yeah, by 0 0.2. Right? Did I do that right? Let's see. Wave speed. Wavelength times frequency. Yeah, okay. And that's going to come out to 0 0.3 meters per second as our unit. Boom, sauce. Okay, what is the speed of a wave if it has a period of 7 seconds and a wavelength of 2.1 meters? T is equal to 7 seconds. And what else do they give us? They say that the wavelength is equal to 2.1 meters. They want wave speed that is this over here v is your question mark that's your equation that you would use and we have wavelength but we don't have frequency so what is frequency here how do i figure out frequency well if i know what the period is frequency is equal to one divided by the period so you would do 1 divided by 7 and get your answer, which comes out to be like 0 0.14285. We'll just round it to two decimals and call it 0 0.14 hertz. And now that you have frequency here, 0 0.14, and you have the wavelength of 2.4, you can put this in your calculation and solve for it. All right, I'm going to move on because I want to make sure we get to the, the graph, to the two graph part. Okay, here they want to know what the period is if you're traveling at a speed of this and a wavelength of this. So you're given V of 20 meters per second and a wavelength of this symbol here, wavelength, four meters. So what you guys are going to want to do for seven is first solve for F. And F will be, if we scroll up top, covering up frequency, it's speed divided by wavelength. So you're going to want to do V divided by the wavelength, get that answer, and then T will 
equal 1 divided by f. So first solve for here, all right, 20 over 4, and then t will be 1 over that answer, okay? 8, they want wavelength, and you're given speed and frequency. So wavelength is your question mark. How do I solve for wavelength? Go up here, cover up wavelength. In the triangle, it's speed or velocity, V, divided by the frequency. So V divided by F. Okay, you have V and you have F. Pretty super straightforward, that one. Okay, now we're going to look at this guy here, this wave graph. So what is an amplitude of a wave? Well, if we go back to our notes, the amplitude can be the distance between the resting position to the crest or the resting position to the trough, either one. So by looking at this graph, I write, uh, it's already kind of zoomed in. If zero is our resting point, if zero is our resting point, from the resting position to the top of a crest. All right, so you basically go to the resting point of zero, go to where you see the top of a crest here, and then go over to the left and see where it intersects the y-axis. So you're looking at pretty much here 10 centimeters. Okay, they want to know now what the wavelength is. So you can try and do the crest to crest, all right? But remember, you could also do the whole from this position, the starting position, until right there to that point. Now, you got to pay attention to what the x-axis is going up by. It's going every line, every hash here is going up by fives. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. So this is our start at 0. 0. And we're going to come back up right here. So in between 60 and 70 would be 65. And it looks like it's pretty much right about the dead – almost at the dead center as it crosses here in between 60 and 65. So if that is the case, all right, in bet halfway between – 60 and 65 would be 62.5 centimeters. Now, because they ask you for wave speed in the next question, you have to convert this into regular meters. So taking centimeters divided by 100, you're going to get an answer in meters, which would be just 0 0.625 meters. So those are two answers there. Okay, so now for wave speed, I'm going to just kind of go up for a second and get my calculation thingy. This. So calculating for wave speed, I need wavelength and frequency. I have wavelength here in meters. So 0 0.65 times, wait a minute, what is my frequency? That was given to you in the top of the problem, 240. So we're going to type this into our calculator, point zero, or point 0.625 times 240. And that comes out to be a nice, cool, even 150, and the unit for speed, wave speed, is meters per second. Okay, well, what is the wave period? Remember the period, guys, capital T, that is equal to one, whoop, 1 divided by F. And we remember, we were given the frequency above here, which is this 240 hertz. So you're going to do 1 divided by 240. you got to type that into your calculator. And it comes out to be 0 0.00416666 repeating. So I'll cut it to two numbers after all the zeros. 
So I'll round it right to this guy. And the unit for period is seconds. Now, the last problem is very similar. Let me just go like this and give us some room here so we can see everything. Nope. Come on, do. Okay. Um, so by looking at the drawing, guys... Remember, amplitude is from resting position to a crest and a wavelength here. So how are you going to want to measure the wavelength? That's probably the hardest part of this one. Yeah, sometimes you can try and do crest to crest, but you can see it's not quite like even under a solid number. So if you do the way I have shown you guys also the past few days, if you go from the start of a wave like this, all right, it goes up, down, back up and right there at that point you would start your second wave so that distance from right here so right here would be one complete wavelength now let look at the hash marks right it goes from zero hash mark four hash mark eight so what do you think each one of these hash marks would be well this should be two all right, so this should be two, four, six, eight, which is great. Now, that means that in between, halfway in between each of the hash marks should be a whole one, like, right? So, like, right here should be about one, two, three, four, five, six, and boom, right there. It's halfway between the 6 and 8, so that should be 7. And that would be right where our first wavelength comes to an end. So from 0 to 7 would tell us that we should have a wavelength here of 7 meters. Okay, you guys should be uh, pretty much able to figure out what the amplitude is here. Um, you have the frequency up top, so it's very, very easy to find the period. And then now that you have wavelength and frequency, you can calculate for the wave's speed. All right. So that, guys, is going to be you need to finish off 10, finish 7, and finish 8. And don't forget to finish the calculation here for number 6. Okay. So six, seven, eight, and the rest of number 10.